everyone. Welcome back to Heather's Crafty Classroom. Today I just have a quick project share with you. I went and taught a class at today. I had nine women and uh, seven of them I had never met before, which was awesome. So thank you all. You are all hopefully subscribed to my channel now. It was awesome meeting you guys. Hopefully I see you again. So anyway, I wanted to share what I taught everybody how to make. I taught them how to make an explosion box. And it's kind of like my other one, but with a maze factor on the inside. So I'm just going to go over it mainly because they didn't get to finish the top and the decorating today. So I thought I would told them all I would make them a quick video showing them what I did. So on the cover, on the lid, we all did in class all the matting right here. So we did gold, the white pattern paper, gold and black paper. I then adhered the smaller butterfly and I did three of the big flowers. I did one that was black and gray, one that was white and gray, and one that was all white. And they had all this in their kit. I put pearls in the middle of each of those. And then I added the little gold ones with the, I don't even know if you can see that, with a little black bling in the middle. You can see it right there. So there's two flowers, little gold flowers with the black blinged flower in the middle. And I have those dispersed throughout my flowers. I used black and gold yarn just to give it some interest around, totally optional. And then off the side, I used some black and white baker's twine with these cute little charms. And these I thought were so cute and they're plastic. I think they're so cute and it's just a heart and a, a key and a lock. And I thought it just looked cute just hanging off the side of the box. So that is my lid. I showed them how to shape the flowers so they're up a little bit and puffy. Um, and then these little ones are just layered. There's two flowers each. There's one here and one here and one here. There's a little black gem in the middle. And then you opened it up. And this is what we got going on. So in the middle, I added another butterfly. I did have to be careful about the wings, so they made it on the inside of the box so they didn't get squished when I bent it up. But I only glued down the saw, the middle, the body, and the antler, or the antennas, I say antlers. Um, because these butterflies I found are perforated, so these, they kind of just go up and super cute. Then I did another butterfly. I think this is, I think there was three sizes of butterflies. I think this might be the medium. I'm not sure. I actually gave them all extra butterflies too. But I cut one in half and put one going this way and one on this side. So there was some cohesion there on top of the black paper and with the white ribbon. And then on the white paper with the black ribbon, we did these gold and white glittered flowers. So here I layered a big one and a small one with a little center with a different color. So the center here is the white glitter and on the white glitter it's the gold glitter. And I just kept that simple so when we tied this it wasn't in the way. Okay. And then each side is the same. It opens up, opens up, opens up, and opens up. I gave them the option in class to do patterned paper on all these, or I gave them white cardstock to do white. So I did a lot of white because I know I'm going to cover this up with photos, it's not real big pieces. So I did that. I also gave them the option to come get extra flowers and extra butterflies if they wanted those to decorate in another way. So anyway, that was my project today. I had a great time teaching these nine ladies how to make the um, explosion box maze. What I call it, maze explosion box. I had made another one. Of, I've made a few now. But I did this one today with all these ladies. This is the one I'd done prior, and I've shown this one on my channel before. So now I have the two ready to go. Stay tuned for the next class I'm going to be teaching. If you're local to me and if you're interested, 
you're more than welcome to go find me on Facebook. I'm going to be posting a class or two there this summer while I'm off working. Um, I got six weeks off, so hopefully I can get a couple classes done. But they will be local to me. Um, actually, local to my mom. So if you know where she is, that's where they're going to be at. But I will be posting that in my Facebook group, which is Heather's Crafty Classroom. So hopefully you guys can find me there as well. But thank you so much to the ladies today. I had a great day doing, teaching you what I love to do. And I hope you enjoyed it as much as me. Take care, everyone.